that she absorbs and wears like a dress, like painting wet and warm cancers on porcelain lips, porcelain hips and cracked fingertips. She only lives here when the line goes dead and her silvers run out, when you don't pick up your phone and she's got no place to stay. She walks the miles in bad shoes, ankles bleeding, leaving stigmatic breadcrumbs to the witch's grotto to float straws over foil and cuddle into her own sated arms. She only notices the ugliness in the morning, in a broken down corridor with a hangover no amount of vitamin B, lemon tea or positive thinking can overcome. But with smoke and mirrors stinging the eyes of the image she's been hiding, the wretched palace is beginning to feel like home. She's always leaving with cuts and bruises and a mark on her conscience and another promise broken and another mother, mother's grievance because her baby's turning brackish and the aspirations turned hollow and the starving art is literal but it, all indulgence aside, there's little else to go to. So she'll always turn up and the dead end is pushed further with smoke and mirrors stinging the eyes of the image she's been hiding from the people who will pity but never have a bar of her, never have a care for the scars that they're seen on her. And so she'll return to the squalid resort again tonight and the next and every night until she has filled another room in hell. of sky burst in dim electric blue with glitter spots of street lights and the flavour of the city has changed. Dusk sees the workers exodus cr uh, cramming down subways to trains restless in day skins of suits and a-line skirts. Burgeoning twilight brings the others out. Voices have lost their cautious teeth, found space to grow higher and louder in the laneways to compete with music whose tempo pulse is quickened. It is not dark yet but darkness is preparing the settlement over metropolis. It looms on the edge of declining clouds, mixes, mixes with the oil on stretched canvas to gradually blacken. Shards of the dead fluorescent ceiling have hit the ground. Some pieces find rest on the shoulders of city walkers. Excitement is a shared unconscious for those arriving. Night is crowning, streets open, veins of a cut limb. The city is newly born and just as promising. All the dreamers are cruising. Night is here and we're all resounding angel devices with our thumbs and forefingers thumping away at buttons of electronic dog tags, trying to determine who and where we are via some nightclub or bar. These arenas so immediately altered to make you feel as though you're transcendent in the place that is still terrestrial, you might wind up worse than where you began, having been tricked by the fickle, foolish wish to be elevated. And having lost the game into which you were suckered makes the need for self-imposed debasement all the probable and attractive. And so the night is here, and here you are offered big slabs of Taoism. Choose either pill and drink down the yin. A woman at the bar breaks a fortune cookie with her girlfriends. Your husband fucks the whore to keep himself true to the faith of the chasteness of you. Remember this and be glad. <laughs> Yes, please. Oh, 
Yes. 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 It's a goddamn fuck yeah. What did she say? Like you said, I was just reiterating. Oh, yes. Just how I thank you. Yeah. Long at you, Darvis Savelle. A book that everybody should read at least once. Take a 